for the entrance let us all rise and let us sing the hymn i placed my hand in your hand hymn number a65 page 29 a65 <laughs> I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you, O oh Lord. I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you, O oh Lord. You call me friend, no longer stay your loving son. And all mankind you came to save, so I'll follow you. I place my hand in your hand, and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. I place my hand in your hand, and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. My dear friends, I offer this Mass today for the intention of Antonio Po. We offer this Mass in thanksgiving and also asking pardon for sins. Let us prepare our hearts and minds as we begin this Holy Eucharist all together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. God the Father, by sending his son Jesus into this world has called us for a wedding the messianic wedding today's word of God reminds us of our call God calls us for a wedding for a relationship with himself this relationship has been established through Jesus Christ. Every time we partake in this Holy Eucharist, we renew our relationship with God. Every Holy Eucharist is like a nuptial banquet. Let us prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate this banquet with God. Let us feel sorry for the times that we have uh, refused God's call for a relationship with Him. And with a contrite heart, let us all together say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I've greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Let us bring to mind and place before our Heavenly Father our own intentions. O 
Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God. When through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness, and from all your idols I will cleanse you, and I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Our response. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. Please repeat. I, I will sprinkle, sprinkle clean, clean water, water on, on you, and, and you, you shall, shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Response, I, I will sprinkle, sprinkle clean, clean, water clean water on you, on you and, you, and shall you shall be clean, clean from, from all your uncleanliness. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a willing spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, that sinners may return to you. A response, I will, I will sprinkle, sprinkle clean, clean water, water, water on you, and you, and shall, you shall be clean from, from all your uncleanliness. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offerings from me would not please you. My sacrifice to God, a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart. O oh God, you will not spurn. A response, I will and sprinkle clean, clean, water clean water on you, on you and, and you shall, shall be clean from, from all, all your, your uncleanlinesses. Let's all rise for the gospel acclamation. of the Lord. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. 
At that time, Jesus spoke to chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry, and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there was a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, God is the King, and through His Son, Jesus, He has invited us for a wedding feast. God, since the beginning of the ages, has been inviting men for a relationship, a nuptial relationship with Him. God, since the creation of man, has been inviting men to live in a relationship with him. And that is why we see in the Old Testament, God has been constantly sending his prophets so that he may again and again remind the people of the need to live in a relationship with Him. The people of Israel were chosen by God to remind humanity about this relationship with God. But not many people listen to the prophets of God. And that's why Jesus was sent by God, His only Son, the church today, the church founded by Jesus Christ, is the new Israel. And through Jesus Christ, all of us who are in the church have been called for this wedding. Wedding is a relationship. A nuptial is a relationship. Just as a man and a woman, they come together in a relationship through a nuptial, through a wedding, 
God has called all of us for a relationship with Him. And the church is the bride. Jesus is the groom. The church is also mother. And we are the children of the church. We are called to live in a relationship with God. In the first reading of today, God reminds us, I will give you a new heart. I will give you a new spirit. I will renew you. I will make you new. The church today is a place wherein God makes us new. Because we cannot go for the wedding without the wedding garment. We need a garment to be worn for the wedding feast. Without the garment, we cannot enter the wedding hall. The church as a mother renews her children every day. Through the sacraments, through the word of God, we are renewed. God gives us a new heart, a new mind, a new spirit every day, every day so that we may grow in this nuptial relationship with our Heavenly Father. My dear friends, many a times we also may be in the church, but without the wedding garment. The wedding garment is not something external. It is internal. It is a garment of love. My life, when my life becomes a life of love, when I have a new spirit, a new mind, and a new heart, I wear the garment of love. That is the only garment that will permit us to enter the wedding hall, the garment of love. And that's why on the day of our baptism, we were given the white garment to remind us only the garment of love. With only that garment, we will be able to enter the wedding hall. As we partake in this Eucharist today, let us ask God to fill us with His Spirit, to make us new every day, to give us a new heart, a new mind, a new spirit to give us a garment of love that all of us may be worthy to enter the wedding hall. For the preparation of the gifts, let us sing the hymn, Take Our Bread, hymn number B39, page 77, B39. Yours as we stand at the table you set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can forget. We are the signs of your life with us yet. We are yours. We are yours. Take a breath. We ask you take our hearts, we love you take our lives, oh Father we are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts, we love you take our lives, oh Father we are yours, we are yours. Pray, my dear brethren, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, 
and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator. And he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the angels we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat when we this bread and drink, drink this cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death o lord, lord until you come, come again. again therefore holy father as we celebrate the memorial of christ your son our savior whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection 
and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us in one voice call upon our Heavenly Father as we say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, us and, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us joyfully offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us sing the hymn, I have loved you, hymn number D113, page 152, D113. I have loved you with an Sing love, I have called you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long And his peace. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his life and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth uh, to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. For the recession, let us sing the hymn, Hand in Hand with Christ, hymn number X4, page 354, X4. <laughs> And in hand with Christ our brother, His love will show. We will rise and leave the house of God to all we'll go. Grant, O Lord, that we may journey on the way that was 
Oh, oh. 